hey everybody and welcome to my channel welcome back welcome back if you are a returning viewer so today's install i want you to give something like a natural leave out type situation like i didn't do baby hairs on both sides i just kept it natural on one but if you guys would like to see how i installed this wig and how i managed to install it only using the ebon lace bond spray adhesive keep on watching I was in a very goofy, silly mood while I was doing this install, y'all. I'm telling you. And I'm listening to my music and I'm vibing in my room. You feel me? I just be feeling so good and ready to slay for you guys. But let's get started. The wig cap is on. I'm grabbing my scissors. I'm going to go ahead and cut out my ear tabs where, you know, around my ears. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, around my ears. Nice and good. You feel me? Not too much, not too little. Just the perfect amount of a slice of a piece so that i can take my fingers and just you know adjust it and then boom we're done so now i'm going to take my uh, ebon wonder lace spray adhesive in the extra firm hold i believe it is yeah it's just the red candy guys and i'm just going to spray that around my cap and use my finger to kind of just spread the product out all around where i want it to be i don't want it to be too low on my forehead to where like the cap is going to be real low then my wig is going to be real low like i want my forehead to be showing you know what i mean so i'm doing it with precision and applying the spray and moving it with my fingers right where my hairline stops so then i'm going to take my blow dry and just blow dry that on cool for maybe like five minutes is how long it takes until it is completely dry and i do it on a high cool setting once it's done i'm going to cut all of it off with my scissors So I'm taking my Better Than Melt glue in the white version around the ends of the cap because, yeah, they didn't really stick. So <laughs> I'm making them stick now. And then once that's done, I'm going to take my Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation in the shade RD15 in this makeup brush. And I'm going to smooth this makeup all around my cap, okay? I want it to be really brown really close to my skin color so i'm using a lot of it i used many many layers this is the wig is what it looks like after i tinted the lace with the same cream foundation and the knots are bleached and plucked as well as the inside construction And now that the wig is on my head, I'm going to take my scissors and cut out around the ears, the ear tabs, because yeah, just a more comfortable install when you do this. It makes the install a lot more easier and swift. Now, I did, didn't cut these as short as I have been recently on my wigs, but it still came out pretty cute so now that that's done I'll take my alcohol and it is in 70 percent in a pepper towel i'm going to clean my skin this is a very important step to do okay because you do not want your it's it's just not going to stick your wig it's not going to stick you guys it's not going to stick you have to clean your skin real good okay clean it real real good but um yeah so as you can see i already took my ebon lace spray and i'm spraying it on my skin as well as on the perimeter of the cap so when the wig is on my head before i do any of this i like eyeball it and i measure like where i want the wig to lay so that i can basically put the product that i'm using right where it is if that makes sense so once i did that first layer i'm blow drying it really really fast because i didn't want my wig cap to start to slip at all so yeah then i'm going to take a second layer of it and then after that second layer i'm going to blow dry it on a cool high setting as you can see here making sure it is nice and tacky that's where you want it to be and i only did two layers you guys so now i am putting it on and i'm placing it exactly where that spray is you feel me? i'm trying to get in the light so i can see exactly where it is so i can mold it down in the correct space so you know <laughs> that makes sense so once i have the lace where i want it, i take my fingers and i just press it in and press it down you know not too aggressive at all but you know firmly <laughs> 
the ear tabs didn't stick too well just because this is spray that we're using so i knew i was going to have to you know use a little bit more because yeah the spray just don't really want to stick on the ear tabs for some reason the first time so i just went back in and i added some more and applied it with my i mean not applied it but blow dried it once more and then i'm applying some more of it around the actual lace of the wig and i wanted to keep it right where the lace is where i knew i was going to cut it off you know so that when i did cut it off i wouldn't be having extra lace or too much extra lace to cut off if that makes sense i hope i'm making sense y'all because i'll be trying to explain the best of my ability <laughs> but yeah i'm taking just a little bit you feel me section by section and then blow drying it because if i did all at once it just kind of i feel like it would have lifted so i did it by sections and then blow dried it I started on my part before I tied it down just because I feel like it comes out looking more flat when you do this, when you do it before you actually tie it down when you want a really clean part. And that was the case. It very much was the case. So I'm glad that I did it. But yeah, I'm just making a C curved parting because this wasn't 13 by 4 lace. So, you know, I make it a C curve, you know, like C curved. You guys see it. But yeah, so then I'm hot combing that just a little bit, you know, to get it in place. And then I'm taking this scarf. I didn't use my elastic band just because um i feel like a scarf would have been better with spray because i know when i reapply wigs i don't use an elastic band i use just a scarf to like mold it down so now i'm taking my re nutrients lusters wax stick i'm gonna be using this for too much longer y'all in my videos because it is very greasy so i don't be using getting being able to use how much i want to damn i'm stuttering a lot you guys oh my goodness tongue is just tight today but um yeah so i just took that around the perimeter of the part and um getting this real flat and i did this many many times throughout this video you guys this was just the first time that i did it so that's what it's looking like pretty clean and i wanted this part to be a little bit more wider since this is a c part you feel me like 13 by 4 is kind of meant to be in the middle part so like the density of that parting at the back is real like high <laughs> you know so i wanted to pluck it a little bit so that it can look more natural and for more flatness, I'm taking my heat protecting serum spray and I'm using my hot comb again and just smoothing this hair out some more. You feel me? Like, it's so important to use these products to get your parting flat, especially a side part because, yeah, you want your side part to always come out real flat. So I made sure that I was really precise with using the products that I used and the hot comb using it real slow and using the you see how i use the sides like that helps a lot like use that flat part of it you feel me but yeah hair tie is off it is molded down i'm taking some more of that serum because i'm going to hot comb the hairline out because yeah it was pretty looking pretty sticky so yeah i just wanted to get that hair looking smooth again I don't know, I feel like I'm talking a lot, but this video is just long. That's the only thing. It's longer than my recent videos. But anyway, took my scissors to cut it in the middle, and then I'm going to take my razor, my eyebrow razor, and I'm going to cut off this extra lace. It was a couple of extra pieces that needed to be cut off with my scissors that were just laced with no hair on it and it just wasn't blending. So I always make sure to cut off those extra pieces of lace. sticking real good i was like okay molded thin like and speaking now like i've had this wig on for i think four days and it lasted like i had to touch it up a couple of times that it wasn't nothing crazy or like you know 
um, a lot that I had to do to touch it up. But yeah, I'm cutting some more extra pieces off. And I definitely will be using this spray more with installs, but the only reason why I wanted to do it this week because it fit me so well. Like, it fit me really well, so it was easy for it to kind of just stay down without it lifting, if that makes sense. You know, the wig cap just fit me really nicely, so I wanted to do it. I'm taking some more of that alcohol in the napkin and wiping off my hairline because it's, it was looking real white. <laughs> it was looking real white from that spray, y'all. That's the only thing about it. You just got to know how to finish the spray. You gotta clean that shit off. <laughs> but I'm taking um, some more of that RD15 Cream Foundation by Ruby Kisses and my makeup brush. And I'm just smoothing that around the hairline because it was looking, again, ashy, real white. But now that that's fixed, I'm taking my edge brush and I'm taking the comb side and I'm pulling out some baby hairs. You feel me? So these baby hairs, I wanted them to be fluffy and I wanted them to be pretty dramatic because at this point I knew that I wanted it to only be on one side and kind of just let the hair on the other side you know like the bang part to just fall over you know so yeah i was being pretty dramatic but still natural it looked really good i love the way that this came out which i'm combing out all these hairs making sure i have the exact amount that i want Now I'm taking my Icy Fantasia Holding Spritz and applying that around the lace, you know, to get it more flat and seamless looking once we tie it down. That's why the hair is spinned up because, yeah, we're about to tie this on up, getting baby hair is flat and look more natural. You feel me? So, yeah, so I'm doing that and then I'm going to tie it on up. And once it is tied up, I'm going to be flat ironing this hair. I want to find this hair. I'm going to tell you guys about this hair because I haven't said shit about it. But, yeah, I'm taking some more of that hair serum in the spray version and I'm spraying that around the hair because this hair was just air dried and I wanted it to, you know, flat iron it flat iron real nicely and just look real sleek so yeah you don't want to use a lot of this because then your hair is going to be greasy and oily just use a good amount okay use it just you know be smart about it please <laughs> even less once your hair looking greasy <laughs> So this hair is from Kriya Hair. This is my first time working with Kriya Hair. And let me say this. I really fuck with this hair. It's some really good hair, you guys. Like, like I said, I've been wearing it for four days. Or I wore it for four days. And it was so silky. Like, when I straightened it, it was so silky. It was moving so well. And I will say this also. When you're dealing with straight hair, it's always good to just cut a little bit of those ends off. Maybe, like, three inches so it can just look more full. And that's what I did with this hair. And after I did that, it looked so good. Like, y'all, when I lie to you, <laughs> I only speak on hair when I really like it. Not saying that I don't like the hair that I usually work with. But what I'm saying is... When I wear it for a good amount of time to review it, I will review it. So I'm giving you guys a review on this hair. It was good. It was good. Good quality. I loved this texture. It was straight, as you can see. It was 150% density, which I feel was perfect for the length. It was 20 inches as well. And it was 13 by 4 lace. And it was also HD, which is perfect for a, not glueless, but using a spray adhesive install because it was just really easy to look melted and like skin like it literally looked like i was using glue like lace glue because of how melted it ended up looking i loved it but yeah moving right along i'm taking my eyebrow razor and i'm shaving off these baby hairs pretty much in like a diagonal but not like too exaggerated on the diagonal like you feel me but pretty much in a diagonal way like it was shorter in the front than it was at the end I would have liked these baby hairs a little bit more if I wouldn't have cut my baby hairs on my sideburns that long because I've been feeling them when they're shorter lately. But yeah, it looked really clean though. Like this lace looks so good. I love HD lace. Like it melts so freaking well. But yeah, I'm taking my half inch flat iron by um, Kiss and I'm just curling them. I went over them maybe three times and until they were like super fluffy and like curled like until they got to that point that's when i stopped but yeah i'm taking my got to be glue gel in black and i'm using just a little bit i use a little bit like lately i've been using too much <laughs> not too much but too much for the look that i'm going for so yeah i take the comb side of my edge brush and i just 
swerve them you feel me get them in a c motion a c curl type vibe and i learned to not do too much with my hands and like the brush period because when you curl them it kind of just molds them on its own so it looked better when i didn't do too much you feel me like i didn't play with them a lot because when i curled them like i said it already gave that effect that i was looking for but i wanted them to look kind of like spaced out in the front because i feel like that looked really natural so i was trying to get that in motion at this moment I also want to say this i noticed that when people do your when you guys do your baby hairs do, don't be so rough with them like be real delicate because when you're delicate with the brush and with your hands it just moves a lot swifter and better like don't be all aggressive you feel me don't try too hard and be aggressive just be cool you know be be light with it you know be light <laughs> but yeah that was it for the baby hair since i didn't do them on the other side so i'm taking my ruby kisses cream foundation in the shade 0909 because i want it to be a little bit lighter i think i like the lighter look when it's a side part like usually i do rd11 but this time i did rd09 so i'm just making this part look really clean you guys i highly suggest doing this step because it just makes your parts look really clean like more natural than just like your scalp color because when you have it parted it is not that light you know it's not as light as your skin if that makes sense so i'm doing a final little touch and i'm using my hot comb a little bit to get everything more flat and seamless boom this is the end of the tutorial i loved this install like it looks so clean i was really proud that i didn't use lace glue like at all i think it looked really good like it looks so clean over here like look how clean and natural that look but yeah you guys make sure to check the description box for the information on this hair as well as all the details on me to follow me and i will see you guys later in my next one